plus snappers I am reviewing the new cards that were revealed um, in the Dirk Diggler stream he's a friend of uh, the sound designer for the game and he got in early he uh, streamed some matches showed some screenshots and showed some cards they'll be reviewing the ones that I could get my hands on so first we got Abomination it's just uh, a vanilla 5 cost 8 power card yeah it's just that I don't think it will see play just raw stats just for the starter deck and nothing else we got America Chavez this one I saw on Twitter someone posted this one it's a 6 cost 10 power card with the ability you always draw this card on turn 6 and not before so this is interesting so this way you can manipulate your draw I think it's a good card the problem here is that I don't think it's powerful enough to win the game to really make a table flip and win a, a game that you would lose uh, if you didn't play it still I think it's better than Hulk uh, Hulk is a 6 card 11 power so you lose one power for one other card on your hand until turn 6 yeah that's really valuable I think now that I'm thinking about it I think it's a powerful card it will allow you to curve better yeah I would play this one now another new card that was revealed, it's Colossus. It's a 2 cost 3 power card uh, with the ongoing effect can't be destroyed or moved. I don't know about this one. Yeah, it resists some control decks, so if the if the meta allows this card, I think it will be good if there are lots of removal or uh, moving effects around. I think this can see play. Otherwise, I think not. Cyclops, it's another vanilla card, 3 cost, 4 power, just like that. Vanilla. I think this is one of the worst vanilla cards. You pay 3 for 4. If it was a 3 5, I think it would be okay, right? Uh, like this, I, I don't think anyone will play it. Now, another one Jessica Jones, 5 cost 8 power, with the ability on reveal if you don't play a card here next turn, plus 2 power. 5 for 10, because you. If you play this on a location you won't play it next turn, you will play your 6 drop or the remaining cards on other locations. I think this is a good card to finish up a location. If you have already three, three cards there, you play this one and you're sure that there won't be any reason for you to, to miss this power and you're free to use the spaces on the other locations. I think it's a good card. I think it's easily, easily countered with the Guardian's cards that I said that are not very good. The Guardian's cards have the abilities that uh, when you play them, if you guess where your opponent will play their cards, you get buffs. So it makes it easier for them. But even so, I don't think this card is good enough for the, a Guardian's deck to be viable. We got Kazar, 4 cost, 5 power, ongoing your 1 cost cards have plus 1 power. From this stream, I noticed something that it's really easy to get full locations. You only have 4 spots in each one. If you have lots of 1 cost cards, you won't be able to to really get power on a single location without big hitters. I think this can see play in decks that uh, have ways around that. I think this will be good in decks that have lots of buffing around it with one cost cards. It's still early to tell. I don't know if it will be that good. Lizard, the new card that I've never seen before. I love Lizard, the character from the Spider-Man series, the, the old one on the 90s. And the card art shows that uh, ongoing plus, uh, minus three power if your opponent has four cards here. I think it's bad. I think it's really bad. It's really easy to fill up a location. Your opponent will just play trash uh, to fill it up and you lose three power. It's a 2-4. If it was just a 2-4, it would be good. Like this, I think it's an awful card. Sarah, uh, this is a five cost, five power card with the ongoing effect. Cards in your hand cost one less minimum one so you you only play this on turn five that's the problem so the idea here is you play this on turn five you have like lots of four cost and three cost cards or if you have like three cost cards three three cost cards on turn six you can play them all because they will be two cost cards but for that you have to have lots of open spaces uh, on the board you should have already played some of those three and four cost cards yeah i'm not seeing it yet this might be good to, like with the sunspot to play with it and you don't play like on turn four 
the your foreign three drops and you play them on turn six and you still get some power on some spot and then other cards that might have similar abilities but i'm not convinced yet spectrum six cost four power on reveal give your ongoing cards plus two power so for this to be to be good you have to have a, a full on ongoing deck all your cards need to have ongoing effects for this to work well if not all most of them even so like if you have six cards on yeah if you have six ongoing cards on play you'll get plus 12 and this will be a 16 for six in that case it's good the thing is you'll have to play bad ongoing cards for this to to make sense and your deck will suffer wolf's bane on reveal plus two power for each other card you have here the three cost for one power this can be three cost seven that's good but you have to play on a full lock with but you have to play it on a location with already three characters there and you lock it out so that's not ideal on turn three it's too early for that so you'll play this on a location with two cards or you play this later on the game and you like on turn five or six you close up a location with wolf's that that can work uh, actually it, this might be a good card to play to play with sarah it might be might be interesting so you play sarah and in turn six this will be a two cost card and you close down a location and you you get more seven more power there and your opponent might not be expecting that i might see some combo potential here with sarah and wolfsbane because three cost cards are good for for the sixth turn on a sarah deck so yeah um i might be going back to sarah i think sarah is a powerful card if built correctly blade one cost three power on reveal discard a card from your hand so this will be a uh, I guess a, a staple card on these card decks alongside a Ghost Rider and maybe Gambit. I think this is a really po powerful card. You can get the discarded card back uh, later in the game with effects that go get those cards. So solid, solid card. Domino, a two cost, three power. You always draw this card on turn two and not before. I think this is trash tier. I don't see. Oh, this is good. There are better two cost cards. This won't do you any good on the board. It just guarantees that you have a two drop to play, but you can also have multiple two drops on your deck and guarantee that you have a two drop anyway and better than this one. Yeah, I don't like this card. And Lady Sif, two cost, four power. On reveal, this card I just cost card from your hand. This is another great card for these card decks. So you can play Blade turn one, Lady Sif turn two. You can play Ghost Rider on turn three. This won't happen every time, but it might. If there are like more uh, cards that bring back discarded cards, I think it's really powerful. Otherwise, you'll only play or one or the, or the other, Blade or Lady Sif. I think Blade is better. You get a strong start. Lady Sif, you get uh, two power for each uh, when energy you spend. Blade, you get three. I think Blade is better than Lady Sif, but there might be some kind of deck that plays both depending on what other cards are revealed. If your opponent play the card this turn, draw a card from their deck. Does this mean that he loses that card? So you steal one or it copies it? If it steals, I think it's good. In the case that Guardian's decks are good, this will be a staple for one cost. Odin, eight power, six cost, on reveal activated, on reveal abilities of your other cards at this location. For this to work, you need to have strong on reveal abilities. This is a six cost, so you play it on the on your last turn. Lots of on reveal cards only apply next turn. Well, with Iron Art, it might be good. On reveal, give three other cards plus two power. So yeah, I don't think it will be good enough. Or Wolfsbane, it, yeah, it's good with Wolfsbane. Yeah, I don't know about Odin. It might be really powerful. But I think we are still missing some big on reveal effects that make this a must play. So White Tiger is a 5 cost 1 power. On reveal add a 7 power tiger to another location. So it's like a 5 cost 8 power card. That's not so bad by itself. If you can 
play Odin on the next turn. It's even better. Play White Tiger, you play Odin, and Odin will get uh, more 7 power. It will be like a 6 15. Better than, far more power than Hulk. So this combo might work. The problem is you might not be able to do that consistently, but you don't need to. If you have more on, powerful on reveal effects and play, you don't require to have this combo for it, this to work. But I think these two can make a, a good synergy in the same deck. Bishop is a three cost, two power. When you play a card, this game's plus one power. So if you play three more cards, on turn four, five, five, and six, plus three, it will be a three cost five power. I have trouble seeing this working. Um, I don't think it's a very nice card because of that, unless you play more low cost cards. Um, if you have a low cost deck, you play like five more characters on turn four, five, and six. This is a three, three cost seven power. Yeah, that's good, but I don't think it's great for the condition that you have to be in for to make that happen. The randomness of the locations, I think it's hard to do that. So I'm going to to say that this is a weak card. So th that's it for, um, from the character cards that were revealed. If you like my analysis, please subscribe on YouTube.